Well, guys, it's Prophet from Seven Lines, and I'm all popular. What are some of your favorite moments from the creation of the EP? Favorite moments, my favorite moments from the creation of the EP have to be rehearsing a new song for the first time and just like being in the, in, in, in the rehearsal studio and everybody just digging in on all the parts at once, you know, and kind of, kind of feeling it out or for the first time, like making that connection to the record, you know, I think that's probably like the funnest thing to see something that was, you know, from a production aspect, you know, strictly in the studio, uh, come to life for a live show and get a chance to see what the fans are going to hear, you know. Now the EP has definitely given a lot of us the desire to, to want more. Are you working on a full uh, length? When can we expect it? Um, definitely working on more records. We've got some more records already in the pipes. Um, we just wanted to uh, sort of fine tune some of the records so that we'll probably, I don't know what exactly the strategy is going to be, whether we do a deluxe version of the EP and release like this, you know, four or five records that we didn't add to the EP, um, or whether we'll just, you know, add a couple of remixes and then do a completely different album. But we're kind of in the, the planning stages of that as we speak. Um, so I wouldn't have a definite answer for you other than lots more music coming and stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Out of all the new music that you've been creating, what is something that you never thought that you could pull off but have? Um, I think just the, the creative position of um, dance elements coupled with indie rock um, for me has been like a special expression. You know what I mean? Like I never quite thought of you know the blending of, of mood synths uh, the way that we do or with like a wobble bass or um, you know an up-tempo record with like a, you know a Les Paul with type of distortion and just blending all of the elements that, that make our you know indie rock. Um, you know, the genre from, from my guys' backgrounds to my hip-hop backgrounds to Morgan's uh, electronic backgrounds and, and seeing them all fuse as one over the last couple of records, <clears throat> it's really like developing a sound that, that I don't think any of us really anticipated. <clears throat> when you went into the creation for the EP, did you have a vision at all or did you just kind of let the pieces fall where they may? Um, I think I think this was a, a totally a mixture of both. I think in the beginning we kind of just played and, uh, and just enjoyed ourselves and just kind of see what happened. Um, and then I think after the composition of Born to Run, we kind of sort of more and more dialed in what we wanted to do and started feeling what our sound was. So I think now we've, we've kind of got a vision through the EP and through going through the creative process of the EP we are discovering our sound. I think that's what's exciting for us is that um, all of us from our various backgrounds kind of maybe had our own interpretation of what we should, should sound like. And um, I think now it's, it's it's come to light that we sound like this, just, you know, just by being in the room together and just playing the records that we've played, they're sort of uh, taking their own shape, you know, which is, which is fun to watch. Speaking of kind of finding yourself through the creation of the EP, what artistic growth do you feel you have experienced personally? I mean, me personally, it's probably the craziest uh, growth just because, you know, I'm an underground hip-hop artist from the Bay Area, um, you know, with heavy rock background due to the influences of, of my family, but um, just my first basis of music, you know, more street element stuff, you know, more hip hop based and sort of climbing into this world of, of indie rock and electronic music, um, it, it's, it's night and day from, from what maybe I would have thought that I would have been doing a couple of years ago, you know, what I would have anticipated an EP, um, you know, even a collaborative EP coming out with, uh, it's just, it's, it's really, it's so unique compared to what I thought, you know, maybe an album you know, including myself, it sounds like. Approaching the EP, what kind of challenges did you feel? 
Um, I think, you know, whenever you're sort of mixing up uh, a new recipe for, for, for a soup or, or, or a cake or something like that, you know, you want to know when you put it in the oven if it's going to stick, if it's going to rise right, you know, if it's going to cook, if it's going to brown on the edges. And I think that's, you know, it's always an experiment. Um, you know, every, every song is an experiment uh, with, with, with the way that we, we write, with the way that we want to collide our two worlds. And, um, you know, it's always a little nerve-wracking when, when we try to figure out, okay, you know, what kind of song do we want to make? You know what I mean? And, um, and at the end of the day, every song that we've made has just been really phenomenal. So I'm, just, I'm nervous and excited that pace increase and keep uh, making that, that, uh, that perfect uh, cake. Does music just happen? Yeah, I think, um, I think, you know, music is probably one of the most natural things there is, you know, from, from rain falling on to, to the hood of your car while you're sitting there, you know, with the car parked to, um, you know, just walking down New York, you know, Manhattan Boulevard, listening to the horns and people chatting, I think music music does just happen. You know, I think it's in everybody innately, but I think a few of us decide to go on the quest to channel it and to really maximize the potential of, of rhythms, melodies, and, and uh, poetry. And um, so I think to answer your question, music does just happen. How do you know when a song is, is uh, going to be good? That's a good question. Uh, I think it's more of a feeling. Um, uh, you know, at least I can answer for myself, um, that, you know, when, you, when you're around music enough, when you're around musicians enough, you kind of get, uh, you know, it's like that detective, that old detective feeling, like, you kind of get that gut feeling that you should take a left turn on the street and, and investigate this, you know, this silly character over here. You kind of get that, that same gut feeling when you're in the studio or you're sitting with a guitar or, or you just hear a melody. And, and the thing, you know, somebody told me once that the music is simple, it just needs to sound good to your ear. And, um, and I take that to heart because if it sounds good, if it feels good, and you get that feeling like, wow, this is incredible, chances are there's somebody that's just like you that's going to feel the exact same way you do. You know, it doesn't mean that everybody's going to like what you're doing. Um, that's, you know, it's just impossible based on, you know, the bias of, of personal taste in music. But, it, it does mean that, um, that you can trust your feelings and do what you feel because there's somebody else out there that, that channels that same energy. You know? What expectations do you have for yourself when you're creating music? Um, I think that it plays to the artist. Um, you know, some artists don't set any expectations and, you know, are probably you know, super incredible. You know, I don't know that Jimi Hendrix, you know, thought about every note or every, you know, progression or, or power chord that he ever wrote or played, you know, he probably just channeled some, some outer world and just let it flow. You know, and other artists, you know, work really hard. I'm sure that, you know, Chris Martin from Coldplay probably, you know, banging your head up against the wall trying to figure out the best melody for his record. So I think for myself, I can speak for myself because I speak for everybody in the band, but, you know, the challenge is to try it out through your last record, um, or at least complement your last record. So, you know, the challenge is just keeping it fresh, keeping it new, um, trying not to repeat yourself. And I think you always want to set the expectation as high as possible because, you know, you aim for the moon and you fall on a star, uh, versus, you know, you aim nowhere. And, um, you know, me personally, I, I don't know what, if I didn't aim somewhere where where my target would be. Um, but, you know, it's like, like I think even uh, Smokey Robinson said, you know, there's, there are no new chords, there are no new uh, melodies, there are no new instruments. He's like, all I try to do is say, I love you in a different way. And I think, you know, I think it's the same thing for us. We just try to reinterpret a feeling, whether it be love, heartache, um, dance, uh, you know, pride, uh, you know, try to, try to channel it in a different way. It makes it exciting, fun, and different from the next record. What emotions do you wish to evoke from your fans when they hear your music? 
I think it's kind of lines really just wants you to connect with another side of you. I think we're born in a new generation where, um, you know, there are no lines from the genres. You know, you don't have to be, if, if, if you're a hipster, it doesn't mean you can't listen to, to, you know, heavy metal or hip hop. Like, you know, somebody may have Smash Bach in their iPod and Marilyn Manson and, you know, Young Money or something or, or, you know, Fun or, uh, you know, Aerosmith, you know what I mean? So there, there are no lines, so it's like, I want people to just enjoy our music, you know, enjoy the collaborative efforts between musicians that come from different backgrounds and bring a bunch of different things to the table and sort of give you something that really, in my opinion, isn't out there, you know, with our, our blending of, of, of what we bring to the table. And, um, and we're just telling stories from, from our lives. You know, Born to Run is an epic, story of, of, of triumph over whatever obstacle may be in your life, not just the obstacles that I wrote about, you know, from my perspective, um, but, you know, for you to bring that into your life. And if you're listening to Born to Run while you're working through rehab after you tweaked your knee, you know, at school or something, then that's what that's about. And I want you to, to channel that record and, and use it to your advantage to, to help yourself, you know, and, and hopefully our records can sort of, you know, help people in different aspects of their life. It was just to, uh, to get away for three minutes. What has been your biggest challenge as an artist, and how did you overcome that challenge? <laughs> I think your biggest, biggest uh, challenge as an artist is probably to pay attention to the ever-changing landscape of the music business itself. Um, I think to be a professional <clears throat> now was, you know, not like 10 years ago, now you have to, you know, you have to be a little bit of everything. You know, you have to be a promoter, you have to be a graphic artist, you have to be a publicist, you have to be a writer, a producer, you have to be a musician, you have to be, you know, a lawyer, you have to be all of these things. And uh, at some level, find the balance um, to not corrupt your artistry in the mix. So um, I think that's the hardest path to follow, you know, unless you're blessed to be, you know, picked up like uh, off of YouTube or, or something just doing what you love and not to have to worry about the business. If, if you're in the, on the independent circuit and you're just you're creating and you want to know how to reach people, um, it's, it's one of the easiest times to reach the biggest audience with social media and, and things like Facebook and Twitter, but it's also one of the most difficult times to be able to navigate your future if you don't understand how music is changing, how Spotify affects you know, major record labels and, and, and so on and so forth. So it's not something that every artist wants to think about, but I think it's one of the greater challenges of, of being an artist in, in the year 2012 is you know, where do you find yourself in the marketplace? If you, if you do truly want to become a professional musician, artist, or producer, or what have you, you know, how, do you, how do you navigate those pathways to be successful? And do you have any final thoughts or anything that you'd like to say to the readers of Popularity? Uh, popularity, big shout out, mucho, mucho love. Um, uh, go buy the EP, Born to Run, if, if you don't already have it. Um, it's, I, think, I think we're really on, on the verge of creating, creating something fun, something unique, and, um, and I'd love to share it with uh, everybody who checks out Popularity.